Okay, and then when we start to take this converter away, first the first job is that we have to take this service connector in this hybrid systems trunk area away. And I have I have show I have showed that task to you in this first videos, and we have to firstly take it is mandatory that we take this hybrid batteries service plug away. It is big ye yellow and this red socket, what I have already taken out. And when we know that it is away, then we can open this upper these bolts. And there is really nice 10 millimeter bolts in here, this one ones in here. And next I open all of these bolts in here. And then we can see their inside. Okay, and then we have chop this uh, this hybrid cars currency converters removal. And there is really situation that we have to take this upper windshield wipers, arms and windshield wiper motors away because those final bolts are in there like in their hidden in this back area and now I can show that what parts I mean there are those bolts and we need now 10 millimeter socket and, and there is this special bolt this is just suitable for here and now I take all of this all of these bolts away and soon we will we will continue when I have take all of these bolts in this side area there's really 12 bolts and and when all bolts are free we can continue Okay, and now all poles are free and check again that your back trunk drawers, this hybrid batteries, this switch is away because now there is risk that we can get electric shock and now I can lift that out, out this part and there is really this cover. And in that step, now it is good to test that there is no electricity in these components. And we need now special tool because there is risk of life. And you have to be sure that there is no any electricity in here. And I will show that how we test that. Okay, and now we have to get that kind of tester. It's made in USA, Fluke voltage tester this is like your lifesaver this is made in England or USA and this purpose is that this tester notice all electricity and it sets automatically signal and sound in that way and if we hear that kind of sound we can notice that now we are in uh, this very dangerous situation with electricity and this is like testing and this tells that this system works in well it is like and now I test these things I installed this steel point steel point in all metal areas I can also check plastic but metal is only risk and this all connectors this is like life saving things that how you can work with safe way with this hybrid and electric car and there is example how we test if this is like electric car we install this device in all of these metallic parts and these holes and if we can hear any sound then we have to check that what is this reason for that all inside metallic parts also outdoor we can test but and now it seems that there is no any sound and everything is good and now I can be sure 
and guarantee that there is no any this dangerous electricity. And dangerous electricity means that kind of sound. But now everything is fine and converter is fit out of currency and next we can open these, these currencies, these electric cable poles and they are in here, that line and I need again 10 mm socket. Okay and now we have 10 mm socket and this is really electric cable special poles. 10 pieces and note that these bolts they are right just unique they belongs in here this is really important that we collect these bolts in right box and now I have marked in here step 14 and now I install these bolts in just in here because these bolts they belong just in here. If you lost one of these, you can purchase new bolts from Toyota dealership center. And after that, when this is okay, we can open in here down areas these two 10 mm bolts. What keeps this cable in position, that red one, there are two of these. And note that now this is different type of bolt. Do not install this in here inner array. And second is in Toyota way in here. And now I need a little bit extension. Okay, and now I have longer extension and I, I can open this bolt nicely. Good, now it's free. And I can take that in here. Nice. There is this bolt. Now, now this cable is ready for removal. And next I will show you how we take it out. Only hand in here and pull down. Okay, now, now it seems that now I think that what is wrong because Okay, now now it's loosen good. We can see that it is loosened, good, and then we go to look similar cables in here, same stuff, three poles away in that area, also One, two, three. Good, similar electric plate. And there are now these two, these keeping bolts. And now I need a little bit smaller tool that I can open these bolts in here. Okay, and now I have smaller that I can remove these two bolts. And that one also. And now this connector is free. Now, now I pull out the, in this part. Excellent. Okay, and next part is that we have to open this connector in here. 
and this happens so that that we press the side area in here and then we pull out in this reverse in that way that area and same way in this lower part in here and I take also this lower cable away again there is this upper part and here I press this side that side and I pull out that Tool. Okay, and now this upper part is free and then this lower part I press this side area and then pull up. Good. Now these cables, they are in that area free. Excellent. Connector is this air back sensor and it opens so that we pull down that connector and then pull out. Now this sensor is in here free and next part is this these connectors in that upper area in here these connectors and these open so that firstly I press this side and this opens and then central part and that opens and then this one and now this part opens nicely. Excellent. We have those two cables left, but I have to press in this area that I take away. That one and this one in here. Side press. And this can be tight, that area. In here press and in this direction. I take those next away. Okay, and now this co connector is free. And also in that second one is free in here. Excellent. These parts are free. And then there is one 12 mm bolt in that area, what I have to open next. Okay, and here is my 12 mm socket and extension. And in that area, and my electric driver. And there is this bolt look, the special bolt, and we can look that closer. It looks like it looks like that. Small bolt, 12 millimeters. Next, we have in here this bleeding pipe, and I have to open this part, this metallic clamp, remove it in this way. And then I have to remove this hose. And now this area is free. And also here is one, one this 12 millimeter bolt. It is free. And next I believe that we can lift up this converter. Okay, and then I have to press these connectors, my flathead screwdriver. I have to press these cables in here, like in down, away in here, that area, because now these, these parts that connector I have to remove this connector carefully and it is a little bit stuck and this black red red device now there is they, that they are a little bit stuck that area in here and I have to carefully remove this cable in here but now it seems that it don't move very interesting I have to work now a little bit in here Okay, and then if we have situation like in my case 
that this upper cable in here is stuck. Then we have to open this red cable. What is in here? That red cable. It goes in this down area and there is again electric box in here. What we can open. That one. And there is first box. 10 millimeter sockets. And there is this cover. A note that there is sealant. We have to install in here this red gasket sealant because there is electricity. And I can open these three bolts in here. First one. Second. And third. Here. In that way, good. And note that there is smaller. Now there is smaller special screws. And check also that there is no electricity. And now I can remove this connector. And now this, this currency converter is free. But let's check that because normally it should open in here. And now we can lift away that converter and let's look at how it happens with my hands. Okay, and now when we believe that all connections are free, then we need, then we need uh, this protective welder's gloves. Thick welder is the best from Home Depot. These are, these protect our hands because there are now sharp items and this converter is really heavy. It weighs about 20 to 40 pounds. And if we are weak men, like I am, I have to use my full power that I can lift up. And then I notice that, of course, there is one cable left in this back area. And let's, let's go to open that. If you can feel any this this uh, force check that all of cables are free. There is even this black cable in here left. Now when I believe that all cables are free, I start to lift that. And now everything goes nicely, excellent. And now this converter it has been removed. And we can be very happy on that step. Now we can check all of these cables that they are okay and they are like disconnected nicely. And install these cables in that kind of positions because soon we are taking these engine mountings away in here and also in this another side in here.